what's up everyone so I know by now everyone has seen this really famous problem with order of operations where we've got different calculators coming up with different answers and no one can agree on the answer so I wanted to sit down and explain the answer and how we actually get there um, so the problem is this one here so we've got 6 divided by 2 times 2 plus 1. So, this is order of operations. So, I learned order of operations as PEMDAS. So, we've got parentheses, exponents, multiply. Divide, add, and subtract. So this is telling us left to right what we have to, well not necessarily left to right, but left to right in PEMDAS, this is exactly what we have to do in order of operations. So the first thing is we look for parentheses. Now, here we've got the parentheses of two, inside the parentheses is two plus one. So when we say parentheses, it's supposed to be everything inside the parentheses, not outside. So rewriting this, we'll have six divided by two times two plus one. So I'm going to do the parentheses, everything on the inside of the parentheses. So the addition inside there. So everyone's probably like, well, I thought addition was supposed to be at the end, but that is at the end. However, since it's inside the parentheses, we have to do everything in there first. So in this case, we'll have six divided by two times, and then two plus one is three. So we'll have here in the purple is three. Now, the next thing is exponents. Now, we don't see any exponents on here, so we don't have to worry about that step. Now, we've got the multiplication and division, and this is where everyone is getting stumped on here. Everyone is seeing this and thinking, well, you have to absolutely go left to right. You have to multiply before you divide. And that is not the case. So, um, this is because multiplying and dividing are similar. The division is just undoing multiplication, or a better way to look at it is dividing is multiplying by a fraction. So we can take five divided by two, right? This is the same thing as five divided by two where we have it in fraction form. And this is also the same thing as if we did five times one half. So when we, multiply by a fraction we're dividing so that's the same thing which is why we don't necessarily go left to right on you have to multiply first this is where we have to see which comes first in the problem multiplication or division and that's why they're on the same level so the another way to look at this problem is we do currently have let me use pink here for it we've got six divided by two times three well, this is also the same thing as 6 divided by 2 times 3, or 3 times 3, okay? So now let's go back up to the problem. Here we've got 6 divided by 2 times 3, and like I just showed you. So we have to go left to right and see which comes first. We just, we do not multiply then divide. So we have to go 6 divided by 2, which is three and then we multiply by that three there which gives us nine now what if we did the multiplying before the dividing what would that come out as well let's look at that so if we did that let's look in green here at this step if we did that we'd have six divided by two times three so if we did the multiplying first it'd be six divided by six which is one and this is where people are getting thrown off and why calculators are struggling on it. So, we only do the part here in green if and only if we have brackets or parentheses around the two times three. 
because that would indicate that we're doing that first, that we have to do everything in there first. However, since this original problem, we do not have that, it's just as is, we absolutely have to do the division before the multiplication. And again, that goes back to being the dividing is multiplying by a fraction. So, in this case, our final answer is then going to be 9. Now, in this picture, I'm going to show it again, we've got a Casio and then a phone calculator. So I, I think that phone is an Android or an LG, something like that. So I'm going to use two different calculators here to show this. So just to uh, ensure here that uh, you guys know I'm not just making it up, I'm going to show on here. So if we put in this Texas instrument, 6 divided by 2, and then we'll put a parenthesis 2 plus 1, it shows the answer is 9. Now another thing is if we did 6 divided by and then we did parenthesis, 2 parenthesis 2 plus 1 and then close both sets of parentheses, then that gives us the one like I showed you in the problem here. So ultimately the Casio is um, so ultimately the Casio is just adding the parentheses in or it's actually doing the multiplying first which is not always correct here. So um, a little fun fact here, teachers actually prefer, teachers do pref tend to prefer, math teachers especially, they prefer the, um, it's because of this that they prefer Texas Instruments because they actually go through and get more in depth on the programming. Um, so what I mean by that is the calculators are programmed to do a bunch of if-then statements. So let's take we get to that point we do the 6 divided by 2 times 3 where at that point the ca the way the ca each calculator is reading it so the Casio is if there are no parentheses or exponents left then we multiply we go in we find any multiplying then do that but the Texas Instruments is reading okay we have done this now we have to go through and we come up first if we hit a division first we divide then we multiply. So it's actually going the left to right. Um, I know a lot of people don't understand how the programming works, but yes, calculators can be wrong. Um, so here I'm also going to show on my TI Inspire CAS, so computer algebra system. This saved me in undergrad, by the way. Um, it's got to turn on. So it's very important here to know which calculators are better, but the Casio, from what I have found, is not, most of the time, it's not as accurate. It's a little more programmed towards the old times where the TI and uh, the Texas Instruments are all programmed more up to date with their findings on technology, which is why they're constantly coming out with new ones because they're having to update the programming. Or like some of these, like both of these calculators actually have updates to them that certain schools actually have the update and you have to go in there and hook up to the computer and get the update. Um, again, this is going slow. Let's, let's get in there. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to show the same thing here in the Texas Instruments. So, if we do 6 divide 2 times 2 plus 1 it comes out to 9. And see, if you notice here, it actually changed the 6 divided by 2 to a fraction. And that's very important to note. Now, if we do it this way, 6 divided, and then we do parenthesis, 2 times 2 plus 1, that's where it shows the 1. And again, it changed it to fraction form, showing everything that's in the denominator. So that is very important to remember that division is multiplying by a fraction. Um, it's kind of sad that that's not taught a lot in schools and most of the time they're just being, students are being taught that they're just undoing multiplication, which is true, but they don't actually look at the in-depth of how it works or what's actually going on. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you want more math related videos, comment below. I would love to actually sit down and do more for everyone. I have a huge passion on math. Again, I've 
this is from this is something I love doing. I've I can go in depth for a long time on my background on it, but um, so anyway, I will see you in a possible next video. Bye guys.